My build hacks are so realistic, it's illegal. The thousand dollars are mine. But you only get three minutes, and we already started. Yanda! <laughs> this is the build hack battle, where we show you building hacks so dope they feel mega sus to use. You in the comments decide who wins. We're about to serve Ethan a meal. The meal of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. It's actually a very delicious meal of sushi and watermelon, except this watermelon is going to be cut open. I really want to pull it off, but I'm not 100% sure yet, since it isn't something you can normally do in Minecraft. First, we're obviously going to build a table, because I'm not eating off the ground, guys. I ain't no skank. All right, so we got the table going on. Of course, we're building Star Wars. Star Wars is cool. You know the classic R2-D2 and C-3PO staying together? Bop, bop, bop. C-3PO, R2 head, R2 body. Easy dub. Now all I need is armor stands. The victory is mine. Now we need to actually make the sushi. So, all right, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and break down here. We're going to put down our cauldron. I always forget this, guys. Use your dispenser. Put the armor stands in there. Activate that so it jumps in. Now, the first thing we're going to use is our skeleton skull. This is going to be rice in the center. Then what we need to do here, guys, is birch trap door, and we're going to place this on the top half of that dispenser there and you want a piston facing it downwards and then activate that that's going to be our table bit now we need the seaweed for our sushi so let's go ahead and activate that dispenser again and what we're going to do is dye that leather cap black on bedrock edition you can use a cauldron to do that put that on top there and then open this trap door and close it once again and boom actual sushi right there guys i think that is super dope crouch and right on this corner place a glow item frame to work as the plate basically what i wanted to do was that Bang, perfect. Touch the ground, R2. There we go. Mr. 3PO. You know what? He's gold, and gold is cool. He's got the drip, all right? But perfect. Put the C3PO head on him, and... C3PO and R2D2. It's amazing. Now, we're also going to have some nice melon to go off that to, you know, add a little bit of a juice, a little bit of nice sweetness on the side, but... You know, a melon slice is not enough. I actually want to have this melon open up. So we're going to use a red banner, a loom, and a ton of dyes. I think that should be good. Let's chuck this down. Okay, so we need the seed. So I'm thinking, uh, bricks? Yeah, that'll do. And then, okay, they look a little bit too bricky. So we'll just break it up with some lines there with the red dye. Then we're going to do the border here in white. And we'll also cut it off in the center since this is only going to be a half block. And obviously, guys, watermelons are green. So we're just using the white there to lighten up the green. And that should be the perfect color to match our melon. Let's give it a go. Chug it on the side. Yo, it looks like the melon's actually cut open. You can see inside to the seeds. Jordan, I am your father. Uh, no. No, you're not. Well, I am the winner. No, no. Huh. I hope you're hungry, because this is your final meal before your feed. <laughs> Joke's on you. I like sushi. That wasn't the point of the joke. That wasn't the joke. Oh, sh I really wanted to build, like, a super realistic TP tent, because I haven't ever seen something like that in Minecraft before. But then I thought maybe it would look better as, like, a TP campfire. And now, now I really don't know what I am going to build. I'm just going to build, and we'll decide which one it looks like more. Just let me know in the comments down below whether you think it is a campfire or a tent. We're building a tiger with the orange and white stripes. Doesn't matter. I'm the predator. I'm thinking tiger foot. Bang. Tiger foot. Perfect. And we'll break out that center area. Now, my idea for this TP tent to make it realistic is we're going to use armor stands here wearing a light So then we'll build above here. And we're basically going to put these armor stands here in any orientation you can imagine. So it goes around in a full 360s. And then we want that, but all around the outside. Um, we want the white on the belly. I'm pretty sure that's how they go. And then the orange up top is. So that's the closest thing I can think of. Ba -ba 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 hey, that actually looks so much better than I had imagined. I love it. Mate. Check out my brand new crew. I didn't know you got the homeless achievement and decided to live out here in the forest. Okay. F Bow down to me, mortals. I've claimed the apex predator, the tiger. Does it have an eye patch for an eye? Okay, all right. <laughs> it's a normal eye. You know what? Actually, it's a pirate tiger. Double points. Okay. Now, we could use a target block, but that's way too easy to hit. We're better marksmen than that. Plus, it's just kind of boring. So instead, we're going to use armor stands here holding a target block, making them much smaller. So we're going to crouch, and you want to put these armor stands into positions that are holding items forward. And I like this one here that holds it out quite nicely. You could also go with something more on, like, a higher up, like so. So maybe something like that as well. The chicken bridge construction has begun. Bring in the slaves. I mean, uh, volunteers. Yes. And if we get hungry... KFC for dinner. These are just kind of standing there. We want them to be part of a wall. Now, if you use solid blocks, it's going to ruin your armor stands. So instead, use a bunch of backward stairs like this. You can use any stair color you want. Then we're going to have our dispensers. Or once again, we are using the double piston system. Chicken bridge. Perfect. Onto the chicken bridge. It's functional. 
activate that top row like so, and then go ahead and activate that second row. Seems I have completely stuffed up, guys. I've got one block too high, so it turns out this is the triple piston system. Let's activate that final row of pistons, and boom, we'll get rid of all of that, and we should be done. I present Chicken Bridge! Yes! Let's go, baby! Um, Ethan... I am one step away from calling Peter. This has got to be animal cruelty. What no, is this? No, no, no. Get up How on there and run no along way the chicken works. bridge. What? Bro, this defies gravity. It's the chicken bridge. Oh, look, Jordan. This is great. Finally, I can practice my aim. I've been meaning to practice this. All right, you ready? And... Wait, yes, what? I hit the target. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You I didn't mean to break the bridge. When building a house, lighting is the thing that everyone always seems to forget, but it's the make or break between a really good build and a super newbie build. So I'm going to be showing you three different lighting designs that are all absolutely fantastic. The first one uses a sea lantern with uh, warp trap doors on all sides. Now you're probably thinking this is really basic and really ugly. Just wait, guys. It's about to get a million times cooler. I'm going to hit him with the bling. I'm going to get him with the drip. We're building a chest with some loot in it, but there's a little bit of an explosive surprise at the end, if you know what I'm saying. I can't wink because it's Minecraft, but wink, wink. Basically, we're going to create light waves coming out of it. So the first one we're going to do here is blue on the bottom and then white on the top like so. Then we need to have a gray on the bottom as well using the gradients. Everything here is using the gradients. Now we're going to do the exact same as that but the opposite. So let's grab our blue die and this time put it on the top there, guys. Switch out our white die, put that on the bottom and then put our gray on the top as well. Now we just need to do the corners here, guys. So what we're going to do is grab our light blue die and you want to use every single one of the different triangle banners. So now we need to add in a little bit of the gradient as well using our gray die here, making sure it's matching. So on this one here, we need to use the bottom transition there. And then so basically anyone that has a thick on the end needs to have the bottom one that is more heavy like so. And what you want to do is line up the lightest bit of these banners to the sea lantern like that as if the light is flowing out of that and then we can do that with these sides as well so we're gonna place that there place that one there down here there we go it looks like the light is streaming out of the sea lantern and you know this would be great in like a cinema build or something similar another super super easy one it's actually even easier than that guys is led in minecraft that's right rgb leds like the stuff you put behind your like computer setup what you can do is use a bunch of equal signs just a sign like that and uh, we can copy this over and over again so let's go ahead and just place this here and you can make these any color you like just and then we can just go red blue green red blue and glow all of those and boom you got yourself rgb alive jordan have you ever wanted so many riches that you're gonna give me a thousand dollars in exchange for them uh uh Wait, I'm, I'm one of the riches, but I'm keeping the thousand dollars because I think I've clearly won. All right, video. all right. It doesn't matter. After you see this amazing trick, this chest is fully functional. You're sure to give me that money. Open up that chest, grab yourself a key and open it up and bang. This will actually work, this keyhole? Yeah, yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Just, uh, I'm just going to stand over here. What? Hey, that! <laughs> it worked! 